Welcome to my next video. This video is going to be on vintage purses. I love purses. I've always loved them. I love the idea that you can pack up some of your most important and special items and take them with you wherever you go. Um, when I was a little girl, I had tons of purses that my mom would buy me. Every time we would go into our local department store, it was called Lane Co., they would have a little bin in the corner filled with sale purses, and I would always tell her that I needed another one, and she would say, no, you don't need another purse. And really, what 8 to 10-year-old needs a purse to begin with? But she would always buy it for me, and that started my love and my collection. So today we're just going to go over some of my favorites, some of my smaller purses. Um, I think my oldest one I have maybe is from the 30s, um, all the way up to modern ones. But I, I prefer um, some of the older ones, like 50s through the 80s. Um, so the first purse I have is this beautiful little um, handheld purse. It's got this delicate little gold flower. And... You open the purse up, it's from Phoebe Altman, which is another famous department store that we have in New Jersey and New York, where I'm from. And in it, you have the original mirror, which has the marking um, Lewis, which marks the brand of the purse. And you also have a matching little comb, which I really love. I got this purse when, um, my husband and I were going out and I had a vintage gown and I needed a matching purse. So I bought this art at a local antique mall, I think for $20, which I thought was a great investment. Um, this is not a purse, but it is a cute little wallet that I found um, at the thrift store. And I usually use this in the spring. And this is adorable as well. You just put your change in there. This is a uh, purse that I use all the time. My best friend Kathy gave it to me. And the funny story about this purse is um, one of my sons was talking about girls in his school having Gucci purses. And I said, well, I have a Gucci purse. And his eyes nearly popped out of his head. And um, so I went and got and I showed him this. It is from the 80s. It's the parents' parents have it's the kids' parents have Gucci belt buckles. Oh, well, I don't have a Gucci belt buckle, but I do have a vintage Gucci purse. And it's big enough to you where you can put what you need every day in, um, but small enough so that it's not very bulky. It's another one of my favorites. Um, this is a Whiting and Davis purse from the 80s. And who doesn't like Whiting and Davis? It's seriously 80s looking. It's got the mesh on it. Um, it just opens and closes like this. I found this at my local thrift store, and it's pretty fun, too. This is a darling little purse that I found at a rummage sale. Um, the fun thing about is it's clasped, and you open up, and it's not very big. It's just a little evening bag, and I had a couple others of the same exact design, but different color, and the lady that um, was working there told me that they, she was so happy I bought them because they were her grandmother's and she had them in all different colors. And I told her that I would love the purse as much as um, her grandmother did. So this is pretty special. Here's another 80s purse. Who doesn't love this? I believe this is celluloid, but I'm not really sure. Um, the leather is so soft. And this is made by Zenith. And I think it's kind of a popular brand. I think they're still making purses. And this is one of my favorites. I love to carry this around. Um, and so in my one of my boxes from Redbird Vintage Box, I like to store all my small teeny tiny purses that are more delicate. And I, some of these I don't actually use. They're just sort of part of my collection. This is one that I actually just received in a box a few months ago from Redbird Vintage Box. I believe this is from the 30s. It's a beaded purse. Its clasp is a little um, damaged, but if you open it up, the wonderful thing about this purse, and the inside is it's really very clean, um, is it has its matching little coin purse, which I think 
is the absolute sweetest thing. And in it is an old clasp. I don't know, it looks like it's broken off. I don't know, maybe the previous owner put it in there, so I think that's wonderful. Um, and you'll know that this is a little bit older too, because a woman would slide her hand in like this and she'd carry it like that. Ah, another Whiting and Davis, because you can't have enough of those. Just a little gold mesh bag with a uh, mirror, a double-sided mirror. Little, I wonder if this is more like a little evening bag. You just put your lipstick in and a key, and that's it. The very first Redbird Vintage box I ever got, my son bought it for me for Christmas, and it was just one of those boxes that you could get, and it was a surprise. And in it was this little bag, which I absolutely love. You can change up the length of the string. And I think it's the cutest thing ever. Um, okay, two more purses. Ah, this is a beautiful embroidery little clutch. Um, I bought, I believe I bought this at the antique mall. And in it, once again, a sweet little coin purse that actually paid me some money, which would come in handy. So this is one of my most favorite uh, bags, and I wear this with a cute little 70s dress that I have, so I love that. And the last purse we have today, um, so these purses are either from our local thrift store Savers, I believe they call it Value Village out in the West, or Redbird Vintage Box, or the Mission Road Antique Mall, which was a wonderful antique mall in the city where I live that has unfortunately been torn down. But I bought a lot of purses there. This, um, this I believe I got at Savers. And this says Japan in it. It doesn't have a mirror or anything. It's just a little ble beaded white purse um, with some little, looks like rhinestones on the kiss clasp. Um, this is sweet. I've never worn it yet, but... It's just really beautiful. Let me get a close-up of that. So this is just some of my vintage purses. Um, I think the only people that are my subscribers are my sons and his girlfriend. And I don't know that this is really up their alley. So if anybody else um, comes across this video and likes it and would like to see more purses or vintage clothing, just write a comment below and I would love to do that for you. I hope you all are staying safe. And you have a wonderful day. Bye.